Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost. It is almost a 1.5 year anniversary, so today it starts on the 26th. That's right, right here. And before we start on the 26th, Dragalia felt it need necessary to say they are going to release a summon showcase that ends on the 26th. So today we're going to be talking about this specific banner, and then also in general, like... Hey, what's going on? Where's the anniversary? So if you end up liking this video, please leave a like and also comment about what, how you're feeling about the lead up to it. Because let me tell you, I got some thoughts about the lead up to this anniversary, which has not been handled the greatest. So let's start first of all with this banner. This banner is literally filler. If it, this next summon, summon showcase should be called Dragon Filler, because that's what it is. Um, the roster for this summon showcase does not include the new adventures from dragons from the paragons of piety summon showcase which is live now so you can't even get uh ariel i was gonna call her ariel but um i guess it can go either one but the basically the units featured on that one so let's go who he what are the featured units we got konohana sakio um who is the skill dragon for fire uh which is flame strength 20 percent um and skill damage 90%. And if you don't know this, skill dragons um, are... Mm, I guess you could debate whether or not... Because a lot of dragon uses usually comes up to the unit. But in general, most dr the most useful of dragons are the skill ones because just almost every single adventurer um, uh, uses them in some way. The ones that don't are usually weird ones. Like, for example, with Lin Yu, you want to use the uh, Kung Fu Panda Bear... Cause she helps with because he helps with the crits that she specifically um, tailors in and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that's what Konohana Sakio does. I think she's easily the best fire dragon, at least in my mind. Um, so that's her. Next we got Vayu, which is the exact same thing. He is wind skill dragon uh, and wind strength 20%. Vayu is also um, extremely useful. He's the one I used on Valentine's Melody, even though she has a poison build for her, just because it ended up being that skill damage was the way to go. That's how, even like not even the dragon that's specific about like poison punishing went well with the unit that used poison. You literally just went with a skill dragon one over it. At least uh, I did for that very reason, just because Vayu is still a fantastic wind dragon. Um, and then finally we have Curse. Coruscant, 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 Coruscant Phoenix, who is um, a paralyzed Punisher, which is the only one that's different in length, strength, 50%. She's also pretty good. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember who do I use her with. Usually you want to use her with any unit that can take advantage of Poison Punisher, which is nowadays pretty useful, because a lot of people end up using it. But I don't think any unit that I, like um, Summer Cleo would use uh, Coruscant Phoenix, um, can't really I don't really use a lot of paralyzed punishes because my light team is basically um uh, let me actually look at my light team because maybe that'll be a good uh it'll help jog the memory I'm not even using Coruscant Phoenix where is she oh, I'm not even using her what that's insane why am I not using her anyway she's also very solid um if you have <laughs> using with someone with a poor paralyzed punisher uh let me go here so yeah, all three of these dragons are perfectly good dragons. Like I'm not here to say like the reason I'm saying this is a bait banner is because literally, what are you doing? We're having a gala gala event and it should come on the 26th. So even though Kanahana Sakio is one of the better fire dragons, even though Vayu is one of the better fire dragons and Coruscant Phoenix is one of the better, not limited um, light dragons out there. Um, there's no reason to summon on this banner. If you're thinking of summoning on this banner, how is it just not summoning on this banner and waiting? Unless you're so desperate that you badly want any one of these three dragons, then I'd say go for it. But in general, you should not summon on this banner. I can't stress this enough. I don't understand why um, it's taking so long for us to have any info about what's coming on the 26th. It's actually kind of infuriating. So let me just go back to show what has been. So this is when the 1.5 anniversary countdown came. Start at 17th, ends on the 26th. Okay, cool. Next thing 
interlude added. Fine. March 22nd. That would be today. That is when it was added. <sighs> next one. Now, <laughs> this is the next bit of news. Here's some gold crystals and quality honey. We're kicking off the celebration. I mean, gold crystals, and not, I'm not here to talk crap on a free gift. Because there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to use these gold crystals and quality honey. But here's the thing. You'll notice a running pattern here. Um, nobody knows what the hell is inside the 1.5 anniversary countdown. There's mystery and then there's just not telling your players anything. Because this is basically what this is. And to be fair, I don't want to be too hard on them because, you know, corona the coronavirus stuff did happen. And if you don't know this, it's actually affecting a good amount of gotchas at this point. Like, I want to say Bounty Rush... They didn't say directly it was because of coronavirus, but um, they tried to update their game and then had to stop it. And they're currently basically, they have nothing going on for the next couple days. They had to cancel their event and that was going to be Stampede and there was nothing. I don't, But I don't think this is the case with Dragalia. Actually, who knows? Either way, it starts on the 26th, but usually Dragalia is like better at telling us about what's coming up. This is like, I think, the most blind I've ever been going into an anniversary thing. It's kind of infuriating, especially because I know the reason that they're not telling us is because they're wanting to they want to tell us in a Dragalia digest. And that's all well and good, but it's just like it's let me look at this month with negating the fact that the 1.5 is coming. Let's see what this month was. We have our second rerun of uh Skyborne Spectacle. Okay, cool. Um, what was before that? It was a... Let me see. It was the Chef. Okay. Chef wasn't too bad, but... That's basically what we've had, is that Chef event, and then one very long rerun of an event we've already had a rerun of. Like, there's nothing wrong with a rerun as long as you're rerunning something that hasn't already be re been rerun. Again, this is the second time we've had this event. There's nothing really, like, special in terms of, like, a um, like a circus or something to work on like that. It's literally just fighting the Flex Man over and over and over again. And I don't know, man. It's just, like, this specific month has just been nothing. There's just really been nothing. Um, the thing, the best thing that came out this month was the Mana Spirals for Hawk and Lin Yu, which has turned both of them into crazy powerful units for win. Just like no doubt in my mind that um, both Hawk and Lin Yu are perfectly um, fantastic additions to the game. But here's the problem with that, is that <laughs> they didn't feel the need to update this event to maybe give us more of the golden... Um, uh, testament? Is that what they're called? The thing that you need to actually unlock mana spirals. So it ends up being kind of like you have to really pick and choose what mana spirals you want because you can't work on them non-stop because your supply of the golden testaments basically ends um, super quickly. It's like like I think I have enough to maybe do Hawk but now I'm not sure if I want to do Hawk just because I don't know if I have enough for the next one that comes out or something. It's actually kind of a problem I think. And something Dragalia needs to work on if they want more people to be using um, mana spirals. Because right now it's actually pretty tough. Um, but yeah, let's go here. I like to go back to this month to this month in Dragalia. Because it really bears to mention how little there was anything. Like, there was nothing. And even now they're saying all we have to look forward to is a 1.5 Dragalia Digest. And that's kind of it. The crazy thing is, is that we're going to get this and then we're going to have another this month in Dragalia at the end of it too. So, I don't know. It's been a very uh, quiet month for Dragalia in a way that's like, whatever this 1.5 has better be super fantastic. Because they're going to have to make up for basically a dead month of the game. And I say that even with the fact that the cooking event was new. They brought in a new form of using a unit, but just wasn't enough man you can't survive on just one event one new event a month i feel i feel 
And also these reruns need to go by way quicker because we did, did anyone really need like the close to two weeks we had for it? It was like, let me see, when did this start? March 11th? Yeah, so let me see. It's been 11 days and it ends today. No one needed 12 days for this event. I was done in about two, so yeah, that's today's video. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have another Dragalia video, which is going to be like, oh my god, the news, they finally said it, but I don't know. Like, we don't even have a, a notice of maintenance or anything, nothing. I don't know. Again. I can't see anything without my glasses. <sighs> that's Dragalia. That's just kind of, I just wanted to speak about to this because it's been, it's been bugging me for the last week how, I like, to literal to know nothing we know about what's going on. Is it bothering thing. you? I want to know. So tell me if it is end up bothering you. Maybe if you disagree, maybe you're like, this is actually going perfectly paced. Tell me about it. I'm interested to hear what other people say. I don't know if... Here's the thing. I don't need Dragalia to be my entire life. But what I do need from Dragalia is to tell me to what's the new thing going to come up. Because <laughs> it'd be nice. But anyway, that's the end of today's video. I'm rambling. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.